It's designed to help you. It's, it's helpful for people to hear, listen, ask questions, and maybe get something answered that you've been thinking about. We're going to go into as many things as we can today. Please share your questions right here in the live feed so we can answer them as we can. And if we don't get to your questions, we always try to roll them into an upcoming broadcast and we try to just really serve that. Also, thank you, partners. Listen, if you're a partner here, I just got to tell you, we've had monumental things that are truly mind-blowing. Uh, for this ministry, but we do it all to the glory of Jesus. So we just continue going forward with him. And we're so grateful to what he's doing with this mandate and this calling he's giving us to make a million for a billion, to raise up a million clear-eyed, clear-minded reformers to go win a billion for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you, we are excited about what God's doing here. We've got a world broadcast center. We're in it right now. And we're believing we're going to have this thing paid in full in short order. We've taken it from 1.2 million all the way down uh, to nearly 500,000. And I'll tell you, we are moving forward and we're very grateful to those of you who stood with us and you continue to sow here. And if you want to become a part of our partner family, please do it by going to josephz.com or texting the keyword give to 719-259-0029. And we want to welcome you. If you're going to become part of the partner family, would you comment right in the feed? during this broadcast, partnering today so we can welcome you, we can celebrate you. You'll hear from us. Our team will call you and they will love on you. And we call you regularly. It's not a call center. We actually take it very serious when you partner here. We take you very serious. And if you can't partner, we understand that. We're here for you. We love you. Please pray for us. We're praying for you. Please continue viewing and standing with us. Also, I want to mention the text to join. Please become a part of that. Uh, the number may adjust over time, but it doesn't matter. If you sign up for the number on the screen today, you'll still be part of it. 719-719-3637. Text the keyword join and join about 30,000 people that get an announcement whenever we send it out with a prophetic now word right to your text message. Message. Um, if you join with this number and we change this number ever, your number will still be with us as we jump over to that. If we put a new number on the screen, I'll tell you what, you're still going to be with us and people can join in that way. But right, right now, use this number, 719-719-3637. Text the keyword join. Please be a part of that. We want to be able to communicate with you and uh, reach out whenever it's necessary. And also, if there's ever intense censorship or things get really difficult, if we ever need to reach out to you, that's how we do it. And in the meantime, please also download the Joseph Z app. We are adding updates to that thing all the time. And I got to tell you, if you're outside the U.S. or you're not in range for a text from us, you can still get updates and notifications when you download the Joseph Z app. We have so many updates coming to that, and it's going to get better and better. And the reason we like the Joseph Z app is because we own it. We built it in-house. It's custom. There's not another app like it, meaning when we broadcast on that, we keep our content. No other service owns it. We own it. We own those servers. That is us. So if it's a little glitchy, it's because we're, we're really standing with our partners to make it better and better and better. And I'll tell you, it just continues to improve. So thank you for standing with us. It's our way of saying no matter what goes on in the world, if they say you can't be here, you can't be there, we will be on the Joseph Z app or josephz.com. There's uh, videos there as well. We go live there as well, and this should be there. Anyway, praise God. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Check this out. Uh, I've got with me today... Allison Joy and Heather Z. We got the ladies. Hey, hey good morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're Pretty doing good. good. Oh man, it's a good time to be here. Yeah. What's going on? Talk to me. Come well, on. <laughs> excited about today. Me too. Uh, I yeah. love just being able to hang out with you guys and talk with you guys. That's and so cool. Hang out with our partners. Yeah. Isn't it a profound thing um, through media? Mm -hmm. how many people you can reach through media mm -hmm. when you are really intentional and you do this consistently people ask us all the time how do you do that like how what's the secret sauce i would say it's a word from the lord yes and really diligent hard work yes yeah. meaning you just keep showing up and helping yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people. And, and please, if you're watching right now, would you let us know if you're regularly? Do you watch regularly? If you're here regularly, you know, the, the three of us are here right now on No Limits. But can you let us know? Are you a regular daily viewer? Mm -hmm. Can you let us know? Because we're here every day. Mm -hmm. And if you don't find a search for us on your favorite platform, we are there. We yes. are here. Uh, and you can go just by typing in Joseph Z on Facebook. Also, let me make this comment. YouTube. 
If yes. you're on, let me look right at you. I need to say this. We have recently grown really uh, rapidly on YouTube. We're starting to see momentum on there. Please, if you would go to YouTube, subscribe, like, follow us on YouTube, because we're, we're believing that we're going to start to see a increase that's really monumental. And we want your help. If you haven't subscribed to YouTube, would you please do that? Joseph Z on YouTube. I just wanted to say that because we're really growing there and suddenly we're getting some momentum. And the only reason we say these things, you know, you guys, the only reason we say these things is because it's just about reaching people. Yep. Get more people. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? We're doing good. Awesome. Just reach the people. And I know for ourselves, we, you know, it's like uh, Mr. Olympia. You know, he didn't start out as Mr. Olympia. He had to start somewhere one day. Right. Meaning as a believer in Jesus... You have to start somewhere. So we're all here together to mm -hmm. encourage one another to, yes. to grow stronger, yep. more mature, That's to right. advance, to get there quicker with, with help and support. I know a lot of times my favorite is just seeing others here live on the broadcast praying for one another mm -hmm. and agreeing with one another. I've, I've seen so many build relationships here. And then it's fun because then we go to conferences and then they all meet up and they're like, hey, <laughs> where they haven't, you know, where they get a chance to. Yes, we've been on a live broadcast for how many years we've been doing My it goodness. Now, now, some time. Yeah. And, and a lot of you have built relationships just over the broadcast, it truly is a community yeah. of people in the body of Christ coming together and encouraging one another. It's mm -hmm. awesome. It's so remarkable. I really no, it really I is. It. I was going to say, when you get together with like-minded believers, it feels like a family reunion. It is. Mm -hmm. You just get together and you're like, thank you, Lord. We're yes. doing what God has asked us to Speaking do. Speaking of family reunion. Hi, buddy. Hi. There comes the wolf dog. Hello. This is our German Shepherd Bravo, and sometimes yes. these days we just let him wander. We around really do. <laughs> he's just—he's like our mascot, you know. He he's, really is. He's been around since the beginning, and yeah, he has. He's still well. a young dog, though. And oh he's, yeah, he's, he's a, a good boy. Yeah, he's a healthy he's a, boy, strong boy. He goes ATVing with me. Mm -hmm. He'll run with me. You mm -hmm. lay down. And many times I've been live <laughs> where I'm doing prayer walks and Are things, and, and the wolf dog will be. <laughs> He'll be there. He's right there. Mm -hmm. He'll be there and he'll just, um, you know, do what he does and, and go with me. Yeah. He's been a real companion. He's been a real yes. friend, actually. Mm -hmm. He really has. He We're has an animal people. family. We, we really are. are. <laughs> we really are. We're an animal family. He's a very well-behaved boy. Does anybody on this broadcast say, do you guys have a German <laughs> shepherd? Anybody have a German shepherd yeah. up there? Raise your hand. Hi, boy. Yeah. Raise well, a hand if you comment got Comment what kind of dog you have, yes. if you have a dog. Mm -hmm. Now, I know some people are like, oh, I love dogs. I hate cats. I like both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying I want to cuddle cats all the time. I'm just yeah. saying yeah. I like both. Animals I like cats, me. Uh, cats outdoors. <laughs> cats. Outdoors, yeah. <laughs> cats yeah. Good boy. Outdoors. Hello, yeah. wolf dog. I yeah. have to say, I did not like cats <laughs> oh, until yeah. you explained them to me. And then yes. once you explained well. cats to me, I was like, Oh, okay. Now I get it. I get it. I never understood. And for some people, they're like, yeah, I've known that since the beginning of time. But <laughs> I just didn't know that cats reveal all of their emotions through their tail. Yeah, a little twitch. Oh, yeah. So if you watch mm. their tail. They're mischievous, man. You know what they're up Brother. to. Or as we're dogs, they're way more expressionate. They they mm -hmm. greet you at the door. I got like, Bravo laying at my feet here. <laughs> you could walk out the door for five minutes and come back and they're like, hi, <laughs> you've been gone forever. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> love you. Cat Cats, cats are like, hello, slave. I see you have returned. It is time to feed me. Yeah. I hunger. Yes. Do your job. Yeah, cats. <laughs> and I will allow you to stroke my pelt. <laughs> For cats. Cats are mischievous. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, somebody talked about cats as being God's perfect little killing machines. Yes. But they're little. Yeah. And so they just stare at you like, Ugh. Constantly like <laughs> plotting. And then yeah. little kids put them in dresses. And, you know, uh, like, yeah. I, 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 did I, that know, once. I know. I know a child that. that dressed her cat up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but what, what, yeah, what's sorry. going on? What's going <laughs> on in the world today? Well, um, I think we have a, a few questions, but one of them is what have I know prophetically you've been seeing some things? Oh, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, we're just going to dive right we in. We jumped here. into that. Yeah, yeah, we're jumping in the pool now. I don't mind. That's good. And, uh, but the question is, have you seen anything new? Is there anything more um, recent or maybe something that's stirring in your heart? Yes. Or something that the Lord is speaking to you about? You know, I haven't actually done 
an intentional program dedicated mm -hmm. to this solar eclipse that's coming. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot about this. Now I've had wonderful platforms like Charisma Magazine has been writing that, putting mm -hmm. it out, putting yeah. our, our information on it, our broadcasts on it. Mm -hmm. But I've referenced it a number of times, but I haven't really made an actual program out of it. And I need to, mm -hmm. because I believe it's very significant. So I've seen that, you know, there's this Super Bowl word, and I know the Super Bowl is weeks ago now, but there's yeah, still yeah. this current event word about it. And not to spend time on that, but there is this word about overtime. I believe we have gone from a time as a nation, and look, we're for all nations. Mm -hmm. You know, we just happen to live in this one. Yes. Yep. But we've gone from a time of mm -hmm. grace, I believe, to a time of mercy. Mm -hmm. Grace is where God gives you what you don't deserve. He just gives you what you don't deserve. He's unmerited favor. He loves you, right? Mercy is where you don't get what you do deserve. Yes. And I believe America or the nations are in this place where they are suddenly under the grace of God. Now, I know there's catastrophic things happening. I know there's things that are right now are beyond words all over the world in this nation. I mean, just look around. Mm -hmm. Look what's been happening. Look what's happening right now. It is... It, it, Several years ago, we would have never imagined we'd be in the, the spaces we're in right now. And yeah, one absolutely. thing after another, we could talk about all the issues that are happening right now. But what I really want to talk about, though, is this prophetic part. I want to step back from mm -hmm. all the current things we're looking at that are just right now mm -hmm. and are so important. And I mean, they're right in our face. But I want to step back for a second and I want to talk about what I see the Lord saying as we look through the storm. Mm -hmm. I see us going from a time of grace to a time of mercy. And in mercy, there's still difficulty. There's still things happening. Mm -hmm. But it means we will not experience the full extent of the issue that it could be. Mm -hmm. In yeah. other words, it could be absolute devastation, but it won't be. Mm -hmm. um, because of mercy. Because of mercy. So the word I keep getting, no matter how, it, how bad it gets or things that happen next, mm -hmm. I keep seeing this word intervention. Mm -hmm. intervention Thank intervention and intervention i believe they're springing things on the former leader <laughs> well hello wolf they're springing things on the former leader yeah let me look right at you here he is is a buddy <laughs> this is the boy right there is a buddy. see i see everybody <laughs> i love that dog oh i love him <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, but back to just, what you were saying yeah <laughs> uh, intervention. Intervention. He's just making he came to rescue us the boy came to rescue us yes. um but i believe that there's going to be an intervention yeah and this intervention you know i think of i think it's habakkuk chapter three, verse two, where it says, Lord, I have heard of your fame. Yeah. Yes. I stand in awe of your deeds. Yes. And Lord, renew them again in our day. The things yes. you've done before, the things you've done in times of old, mm -hmm. renew them now in our day, in our time. Mm -hmm. And then it says something really interesting. And I know it's an Old Testament mindset, but still there's something in this. Mm -hmm. It goes on to say, yet in your wrath, Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Remember yes. mercy. Yes. Wow. Remember mercy. The mercy of God. Yes. Remember the mercy of God. And yeah. I believe the Lord is long suffering. He's full of mercy. God's not pouring out his wrath like the book of Revelation. If he was going to do that, yeah. we'd all be fried to a crisp. This place would be gone. <laughs> you know, when people say, Are we in the book of Revelation? Look, if, if I read the book of Revelation correctly, when we really see what's coming, the world's going to be a smoking husk a charred heap. Yep. There will be nothing left yeah. yep. <clears throat> when you look at the book of Revelation. So people say, we're living out the book of Revelation. I don't think so. Yeah, no. There might be some types, allegories, or things that, that are interwoven, mm -hmm. but it is not the wrath of the Lamb. We are not appointed for wrath. We're not under wrath right now. Yeah. But there is this sense I have of in wrath, remember mercy, and I keep getting this word of intervention. Mm -hmm. yep. And this so often happens in, in my prophetic... <clears throat> scope mm -hmm. yeah my prophetic experiences the lord will show me something dramatic you remember before 9 11 i Heather, do when i was waking up and mm, or yeah i kept seeing i, I remember 9 11 i saw seven tornadoes on yes. the nation i saw a giant thunderstorm mm -hmm. warning come across the land it was a week before it went down and i'm telling mm -hmm. everybody i see this this map and it's all in red and it's mm -hmm. flashing at me severe thunderstorm warning there's mm -hmm. terrible stuff going on seven tornadoes two of them are invisible i don't yeah. know what's going on what does this mean yeah <clears throat> and i, I believe it had to do with judgment and tornadoes are language for me i've realized yes 
And as this happened, I see things before they take place. Now, all I saw in that vision was the difficulty. I saw the drama. I saw things happening. The 9-11, we know that delivered terribly. It was drama. It was terrible. It Uh was all these things. Mm -hmm. I actually believed it wasn't as bad as what it could have been. And I think there's a lot of conspiracy you could get into around it. I think a lot of it has a lot of points. That being said, however, at the end of that, there was a resurgence of life in this nation. Yeah. Yeah. People began to rise up and begin to say, I call in the name of God. Remember, yeah. stadiums were getting filled with people. Absolutely. Remember, I, I remember watching, of all things, Conan O'Brien, you know, th- mm-hmm. that show. He's on there and he said, I never talk about religion. He said, but I'm a Catholic and I just want to talk about God tonight. Mm-hmm. I, I have to hear, I just got to yeah. listen to myself talk. Yes. And he began to talk about faith. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, you know, who's a Christian, who's not, and that's not where where I'm even going with it. My point is sometimes when you see things in wrath, difficulty, challenges, there's a mercy attached to it that even with that punishment, so to speak, and I'm not saying God's punishing. I'm just saying that even in the difficulty that would come, Mm -hmm. there's a silver lining to these things. And I believe that this is part of that word Nineveh I have for the United States. So coming back to the eclipse, Mm -hmm. eclipse, right? Mm -hmm. April the 8th, Mm -hmm. April the 8th, there's going to be a solar eclipse that goes across one side of America. Mm -hmm. Now it goes into this whole word of the eclipse will be an X because the seven years previous, there was a solar eclipse, went across the beltway of America, right across, you know, a little bit of Northern Colorado, everything. And all the way out to the East coast, we see another one seven years after that fact coming along the the Eastern board, Mm -hmm. not, not to the ocean, but a little bit in and you see it Mm -hmm. and it's covering that. And it's an X marks the spot. It's crisscrossing X. You see the word X suddenly in the culture. Uh, They turn Twitter to X and it's actually got satanic ramifications. X. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> there's yeah. there's um, Luciferian stuff behind that. Mm-hmm. X. I was talking with Clay Clark, and he's just like breaking it down, and only the way Clay can. Mm-hmm. And I think we had a full disclosure on that that people saw. You can go back and watch that where Clay just goes at it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's that, and then also you see the disease X. You know they talk mm-hmm. about that coming. So there's X, this X, that, yeah. and suddenly X with the eclipse. Mm-hmm. And the amazing thing is at the beginning of the year, the spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, America is going to bow the knee either by fire or by Nineveh. They got fire or Nineveh. Wow. You choose. Mm-hmm. And what does that mean? I believe that means either judgment will get really intense mm-hmm. and America will take its knees one way or the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, or Nineveh, mm-hmm. where America will repent to repair. And again, I think the idea of repentance mm-hmm. of a nation, because people say, okay, what does that mean? Does it mean on the government grounds at the White House, they're going to get there and wear sackcloth and ashes and every single person in America will get born again and revival will happen and mm-hmm. it'll rain from the heavens and things. Well, God willing, yes. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's what it would take. Yeah. You know what I think it would take? Mm-hmm. Just a little bit of humility Come on. in our nation mm-hmm. wow. before the Lord. Mm-hmm. Again, going back to 9-11, when you got mm-hmm. Conan O'Brien, you got other ones, even Letterman, you know, people who remember those talk show hosts mm-hmm. back in the day, they would even begin to just talk with a humility. Mm-hmm. They didn't get born again, or, you know, that I know of. They, mm-hmm. they weren't saying, I confess Jesus as my Lord. Sure. But what they said is, oh, yeah. something has happened. Mm-hmm. And there's something about repentance, whether yeah. people get born again or not. Yes. where they begin to bow their hearts as a nation. Yes. And the Lord says, I can work with that. Yes. That to me is America becoming Nineveh. Mm-hmm. When Nineveh repented, of course, they even they did fasting. They said, you will repent or in 40 days you're going to be destroyed. Mm-hmm. Nineveh, they put sackcloth and ashes on. They repented. Even the animals, I think they made wear that stuff. Yeah. They made them all fast. Even the animals. So you got bravo though. You, you ready for a fast bravo breakthrough time? You know, you reckon, yeah. yeah, you're fasting too. <laughs> you know, and, and you see that and, and that's what they did in Nineveh. Yeah. And you recognize this and where we are today. Mm-hmm. I believe that is what is required for the nation just to humble itself yeah. yeah when you see and i believe that's national repentance because everybody's not going to get born again the bible yeah. says it wide is the way mm-hmm. and many are they who find it under destruction mm-hmm. but narrow is the way and few are they who find it mm-hmm. that leads to eternal life so we know by scripture the whole nation is not going to get born again i wish that was the deal yes yeah. but scripturally speaking jesus said more are going to be lost than found yeah wow well, okay yeah. so you're looking at that And I look at these things and I think it's a humility Mm -hmm. that God's looking for, a heart posture that says, 
I will go your way, mm -hmm. or I'm, I'm softened just somewhere. You know, Pharaoh didn't give his life to Jesus, but he hardened his heart and then God really hardened it. Mm -hmm. Where when people begin to just humble themselves with the yes. posture of, I don't know what's going on, but I, 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 just a softening. Mm -hmm. I believe that would be national repentance and God would begin to spare this nation and turn some things and yeah. things would turn. Now, of course, the church needs to rise up, preach the gospel, and get as many saved as we can. Yes. Right. And yeah. that's what I see there. But I believe Nineveh. Now, the crazy part about this eclipse is there are eight cities mm -hmm. that they're in the pathway of mm -hmm. this eclipse, in the path. Yes. Eight of them, yes. each named Nineveh. That <laughs> Nineveh. You can't make that stuff up. You can't make you that can't. up. You can't. Yeah, it, all the names of being, each each town that it's passing through is Nineveh. The yeah. Name. That's that's pretty impressive. I believe this is going to be a monument to things. I you know the Lord showed me also at the beginning of you know, the pandemic, when that broke out mm -hmm. back in March of 2020, that I saw the words, the lion, the bear, but Goliath was coming. Yes. yes. Goliath, the bear, Goliath, mm -hmm. the lion, the bear, and Goliath. Mm -hmm. And I believe Goliath represents a number of things. The red dragon. People are like, what do you mean by the red dragon? Well, think about what nation represents that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. And so the lion, the bear, the red dragon, or mm -hmm. Goliath. I believe Goliath represents more than just a specific nation, mm -hmm. but I believe it represents a spirit, a Luciferian, antichrist, world economic forum, wicked lizard, overlord, scumbag, pervert, mm -hmm. mafia, uh, dirtball people that yeah. are trying to lead and mm -hmm. take over because truly they have a religion in them. Mm -hmm. And it's an antichrist religion that mm -hmm. says we need to dominate society. It's, mm -hmm. this isn't just illogical people. They're very logical. They're very intelligent. Oh yeah. Very tactical. But it's a religion. It's strategic. Yep. Yeah. So I believe that, that what we're seeing is a repentance that can change this. Mm -hmm. I believe we can push these things back. Mm -hmm. I think we have a lot to stand up for and stand up against mm -hmm. and bring light into. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm seeing at the moment. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of like the statement that you make a lot of times. If it's too small, men will fight. Yeah. If it's big enough... The people will unite. The people will unite. And just like 9-11, oh, it didn't matter if you were Catholic. We're going to get those terrorizers. Yeah. It, yeah. it, it didn't matter if you were <laughs> Buddhist, Christian, whatever. Yeah. Everybody came together. I remember the Super Bowl. Yeah. When everybody came together. Remember Bono? You yeah. two and I, I, whatever they're doing in the sphere, and if they're yeah. all part of the Illuminati, yeah, I don't man, know. they're all tripping and stepping on rakes. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> but, at the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah, at the Super Bowl, on a wide scale, if man. you're asking what does, if it's too small mental fight, what would be too big that we can unite, 9-11, everybody came together. I mean, uh, I, families, neighborhoods, you would see the American flag everywhere oh, yeah. remember overpasses oh mm -hmm. overpasses remember we're driving everywhere and you'd see yeah. him hold it and honk in the yeah, horn america yeah. yeah to stand up and yeah. to unite and come together in this mercy that you're talking about yep if we can just get over our stuff for five seconds yep and take a moment like i challenge you for the next i, I don't i don't do challenges but i'm just saying like for the next week or month or pick a time frame to purpose in your heart to ask the Lord in humility before the Lord. Humble your heart, take a moment, bow a knee before the Lord in before reverence. Before the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. yes. And say, how, how can I be a part of repenting to repair? Mm. Mm -hmm. How can I be a part That's good. of yeah. repenting to repair? <clears throat> That's right. In the people that I know, in my circle of influence, how can I be that light Yes. To how yes. can I not be a part of when someone's bringing up another party and tearing another party down? Or what I mean is, is unify. Yeah. Yes. Get unify over the things you can unify over so that mm -hmm. we can come together and stand up under this nefarious spirit. Yeah, that's to right. be honest, it's a spirit yeah. working. Yep. It is. It's a mm -hmm. spirit. Just like a, there's a spirit of fear, you know, it's a spirit. You know, there's, it there's, is. there's, a, you know, whether it's a spirit of fear or, um, you know, infirmities, pick, pick whatever it is. I, but another division. thing I've noticed too, though, have you noticed how all over social media, everyone has become, I, I want to be careful to say this, but almost like self-absorbed. <laughs> too much soy milk. Yeah. yeah but, yeah. It, but what it's I'm saying, milk, you know, yeah. yeah, but what I'm, what I'm saying <laughs> is, 
um, talking <laughs> about how we need to unite, how we need to stop fighting. You over know what the I want to do? What? I want to boycott men painting their nails. Yeah. Amen. I just, you know, just really just think it's an expression of soy. Mm. I drink the soy and suddenly I get in touch with the girly side. Yeah. You know, woo. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> Too here's, much? Sorry. No, no, okay. no, so here's a question though, because <laughs> I've seen it everywhere. Soy boys. Men today or young men today, they it's like a, I don't know if it was a, a major poll out there where they're <laughs> saying Gen Z, the yeah. ages of Gen Z are looking for the... Um, permission to behave like a man. Yeah. And it doesn't. Of course they are. And it doesn't matter if it's secular, Christian, or mm -hmm. otherwise. Of course they are. They're desperate for someone to tell me it's okay to act like a dude. So what I mean, like, how can we help those guys? Yeah. You know, maybe maybe you're someone in your community that you can help young men be men. Be a man. <laughs> be a man. Yeah. Yeah. And it's okay to be a man. It yeah. is. And, uh, but yeah. But that, back to that America yes. repentance thing. Yes. yes. It's um, where you were saying if it's too small, men will fight. If it's too big uh, or when it's big, uh, men will unite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, and Devastating. I think. Devastating. <laughs> yeah. And I think some people are so absorbed in the social media and so absorbed in their own stuff. Yeah. That it's like there's almost needs to be a little bit of a like, hey, like come back to reality. You know, the whole thing today, the watchword is, you know, that's offensive. I'm offended. Well, okay, so I'm offended at your offense. Now who's right? Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, your offense offends me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I'm offended because I was mistaken. I'm offended. You wounded me. Yeah. <laughs> if it's the last thing I do, I get back at you. Gush and wound. How can it be? Oh, say yeah, it. Right? And people just so offended. <laughs> I know. So touching. I'm talking in the church and the mm -hmm. world and this this whole thing. You know, it's hard to criticize unbelievers yeah. Yeah. because they're unbelievers. Yeah. You know, they're going to do stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. But there still is a cultural norm that's shifted mm -hmm. where there's less and less influence of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's shifted. And when you say shifted, it's gone from just shifting to indoctrinating mm -hmm. yeah. where they're driving the stuff. They're taking young kids and they're saying, you're this and you're that. We're going to alter you permanently mm -hmm. in your life, permanently. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at that and you know. Oh, I, but you're not old enough to buy this item. You're not old enough right. to do that item. But you, sir. To make a life altering decision permanently yeah mm -hmm. for your whole life it's crazy it, and it's a demonic luciferian spirit it's a mm -hmm. demonization of the culture yeah. it's it's the bible talks about this in first timothy it calls it perilous times yeah. will come mm -hmm. and these times are absolutely vicious and and mm -hmm. tragic and difficult and they're just absolutely mm -hmm. yeah. heinous you can't yeah. get ink on your arm but you know what yeah. you get to yeah you can have a driver's license but you can yep yeah chop chop Go you the get stuff. whole way. <laughs> yeah, so like the book of Galatians says, I wish they'd go the whole way. When you listen to the audio version of the New Testament in Galatians, the yes. audio version in the NIV says, I wish they'd go the whole way and emasculate themselves. That's what it says. That was Paul the Apostle. Paul yes. the Apostle would get so Say intense it, about certain things. He'd be like, you know what I think they should do? They should just yep. do that. <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. and so just coming back yeah, to this. Don't whole be a quitter. Thing. Come on, man. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> don't be don't be a quitter. Yeah. So the Apostle Paul, all the things we're talking about, you back it all the way up to this whole thing about manhood and boys and all yeah. this stuff. Yeah. You know, they started introducing new things, and I, I joke it about soy and all that, but mm -hmm. it really is a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's so much of that in the culture that actually feminized. Mm -hmm. Yeah that scenario. And so many people think that will fix their problems. Mm. It's the opposite. Mm -hmm. It will it, make you more depressed. Yep. It will make you more sad. It'll make you question, well, I did the big step. Where's my purpose? Yep. Mm -hmm. Where's my calling? Why, why, why do I feel so empty on the inside? It's true. I did the big thing. Mm -hmm. This will change me. This thing. will find my calling. Mm -hmm. But now I have nothing. Romans the 1. The thing is, sorry, excuse me. The thing is, is you were made perfect already. Yes. You are already perfectly designed. Well, that's true. You're already perfectly made into who you were when you took your first breath. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine mm -hmm. using a claw hammer as a Phillips screwdriver. Yeah. Right. It, it, you can try. Mm -hmm. You might have some weird success with that, but ultimately you're cutting your 
whole life purpose and what you were designed for mm -hmm. down to a fraction yeah. of what you could be and what you well, were think, designed for. Think of be. Genesis. It's mm -hmm. just I'm thinking of Romans one. It says they traded the truth of God yes. mm -hmm. for a lie. Wow. For a lie. They yeah. traded truth for the lie. Mm -hmm. And the lie is the culture's telling you how it should be, but the truth of God tells you how you're made, fearfully mm -hmm. and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. yes. Genesis. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you look at Adam and Eve. <clears throat> so Eve is in the garden. Adam's there. Talking snake shows up, and you can get into all that, the shining one, all these things, the Nahesh. Nahesh. Mm -hmm. Lucifer, devil, Satan. Mm -hmm. In the garden, he says to them, has God said you will surely die if you eat of this fruit? Mm -hmm. For God knows if you eat of this, well, then you'll be like him. Mm -hmm. You know what the lie was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to say? Yeah. They were already like him. They were already like him. Yeah. So the same conniving serpent spirit in the culture today mm -hmm. comes along and it says, oh, yeah. The, these authorities and institutional people and yes. churches and people, they don't want you to do this because they know if you do this, then you're going to really have the secret sauce. You'll know what they know. And now you'll be equal to them and they can't tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to really have mm -hmm. the insight to everything. Now you're really there. And the truth is they already have the perfection God made them, yep. but they're trading the truth for a lie. And I have so much compassion. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am not against these people. I am so loving them Absolutely. because their whole life is messed up now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and you're looking at that. And so we've got to pray. We've got to stand. We've got to love. And a lot of them have been, a lot of people, it has been a weaponized, like strategically thought out design from even some from a child hey, right. of an ideology That's right. that they put in your head Yes. from school, media, idealism, especially college. I mean, they went by storm after the college kids. They did. And and to to literally put those questions in there like you're talking about with the serpent. Did God say? Did God say? Are you really question this everything? Way? Yep. Could you could probably be happier. I wonder what if on the other side. Yeah. And the thing of it is is you were assaulted. Yeah. It was literally That's mind right. games. That's what yep. it is. It was mind games and mind like forms of brainwashing where they planned all this behind in their conference rooms and behind closed doors. And then they implemented and they put this on you. Mm -hmm. And now you just slowly like a boiling pot, like fell into and evolved into something mm -hmm. that never belonged to you or ne right. was never designed for you. Yeah. That's right. And now it's like, why am I not happy? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Because it doesn't belong to you. Because yeah. it doesn't belong to you. You are already made, made perfect. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, it, Jesus is Lord. He that's is. right. He is. And when we talk about washing our mind with the word and getting into the word, when we <laughs> go down that avenue, mm -hmm. and yeah. I think so much about how social media, you know, it's just content after content and it's just hitting you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have well, something? I do. I, let me look right at you. I'm going to look right at everybody right now. Jesus loves you. And I want to say this to everybody watching now. Jesus loves you and there's nothing you can do about it. You might be impacted by things in the culture, your family, children. Everybody's being impacted by something these days, uh, whether it be, uh, you know, social agendas, social issues, things that are fighting against your very family. But I want to say something to you right now. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you can impact people. You can help them right where they mm. are by being that light. Maybe you're, maybe you're a grandma. You know who the most powerful people I think in the spirit are? Mm. Grandmas. Yes. I think praying grandmas, mm -hmm. I, I think like in the spirit, you yeah. have brass knuckles. <laughs> I mean, come it's on. like you got broken bottles in your hands. You're like, come on. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, grandmas are like, mm -hmm. to the devil, they are vicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, th that's like, ooh, demons like, ooh. Because you know, there's something about praying women. The yep. devil hates women. Yes. Hates them. Yes. Had all this stuff about rights for ladies and all mm -hmm. these things all the, over the years. And then all of a sudden now, that's totally being violated mm -hmm. by an adjustment to the definition. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's the devil. The devil's always hated women since Eve. Yep. Yeah. Always. There'd be enmity against the serpent and the woman. Mm -hmm. And you see that all throughout the, the Old Testament into the New Testament. You see it in the book of Revelation. 
And the devil hates women because women, the seed in the woman is what brought about the Messiah. Mm-hmm. And he hates them because women are life givers. And that's why they perverted it. You get in that Genesis 6 narrative. That's why angels came. They mm-hmm. did all that. They'd never seen women because men are kind of a common creation. But woman was very different. Angels had never seen women before. That's why they freaked out. And they decided, wow, we want to cohabit with you. Because yeah. women looked very different than men. They'd never seen a woman before. Mm-hmm. It was very, very different. Here's my point. Women are of God. And I want to say to you, the mm-hmm. Spirit of the Lord is wanting women to rise up as warriors, warrior class women in prayer, in preaching the word, yes. in being what God's called you to be. On a bad day, grandmas, women of God, wives, daughters, mothers, you're anointed to be the best there is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The men of God are called to go and take territory and win and go do the thing, right? Women are yeah. called to do the same, but they're also called to bring that spiritual accountability They sanctify, they bring deliverance, they begin to cast out the demon. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, God is calling such a high accountability in this time. Mm -hmm. And I believe there's going to be a right-sizing, a revival of women bringing children back in the spirit of Elijah that's going to come into the realm where women are, come into the realm of godliness and begin to bring light into darkness. I just want to pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. I begin to speak life over every person watching this. I begin to speak victory to you, multiplication. I sense lack for somebody and you've been saying, how can I make ends meet? How am I going to do this? Where is this going to happen? The Lord is saying, have faith in me. Have faith in God. And you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, according to Psalm 27. You and your children are going to live. How dare the devil try to steal this generation? Who does he think he is? Come on now. We're the ecclesia, the called out ones. That's and right. we're pushing back against this darkness. You, Light shines yes. in the darkness. It might be dark in Egypt. But it's light in Goshen, and we are Goshen. You are Goshen. That's right. And God's raising up this remnant, this red church. Yes. Somebody needs to shout out right now, I'm going red in the blood of the Lamb. Mm-hmm. I'm going red in the blood of Jesus. The red church. That's what we are. We're the red church. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Really quickly, for yeah. people who don't know what that is, would you explain what it means to be going red? Oh, the red church are going red? Yeah. Yeah, we get that question, and I often yeah. fail to answer. People are like, is that like a political thing? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, the Red Church, you know, we broadcast every day. It's, it's our global online church. Yes. And we're going to get it more and more interactive. That's the actual representation of a greater picture. Mm-hmm. So we participate as Red Church by doing a broadcast that really emphasizes that. Yes. The Red Church just simply means this, the blood-bought body of Christ. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's why we say red, mm-hmm. the blood. Mm-hmm. It represents the blood of the Lamb. So we say going red. Yes. When we say going red, you see that on our logos and stuff? Mm-hmm. Going red means that everything Jesus' blood mm-hmm. was, was shed for mm-hmm. means all that he acquired through the covenant is ours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're honoring that by saying, you might as well say, I'm going in the covenant. Yep. Yes. I'm going in the promises. Mm-hmm. I'm going in the name of Jesus. So yes. when we say going red, it encompasses all that. I'm going in the name of Jesus, not in vain. Mm-hmm. I'm going in Jesus' name. I'm standing. It's Revelation 12, 11. Mm-hmm. They overcame the evil one by the blood of the lamb, mm-hmm. red, mm-hmm. by the word of their testimony, mm-hmm. the Bible. Yep. And they love not their lives even unto the death. And Come that means that now. they're living sacrifices. That's the red church. Yeah. We're the real church of Jesus, so the ecclesia. Would, so you would say red is used is kind of like a word picture. It is. It encompasses the whole thing. When Jesus cut that blood, he shed that blood for us. Mm -hmm. That blood that was shed, it was the ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Every promise in the Bible Mm -hmm. is in that blood. You know, I think about that, that scripture where it talks about David. Yeah. You know, he was ruddy. Yeah. He was was ruddy in appearance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) David was red. David was red. (laughs) He's like, who are you? Fee, fi, fo, fum. (laughs) Who you think you are? (laughs) (laughs) Or I should say. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then he took his own sword and took his head, man. Yeah. And then later used the giant sword. I've preached that, that message uh, for, for many, many years, but Mm -hmm. he used the very weapons of the enemy against them. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's part of red. Yep. You know, media is part of that, what we're doing. But that's why we say going red. That's why we say we're the red church, mm-hmm. going red. So if you're on here right now, please just shout out going red. If you're mm-hmm. part of the red church, say going red. Woo. Uh, it, it's, it's awesome. And going red is about the blood of the lamb. Yeah. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. That's right. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. We yeah. actually called our partners for the longest time the Red 7K. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You say, what does that mean? Red 7K. What are all these terms? <laughs> 
Well, the red seven case simply means there's 7,000 like Elijah. He went in the right, wilderness yes. and said, I'm the only one left. Mm -hmm. And he was told by heaven, mm -hmm. there are 7,000 more just mm -hmm. like you that have not bowed the knee to Baal or the system Thank or the you, worship Jesus. in this culture. Yep. Red mm -hmm. seven case. So that's what we're believing for 7,000 partners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're believing for 7,000 partners. I encourage you to join the Red 7K. Be part of the 7,000 yes. yeah. that won't bow the knee to this system that say we are standing for the gospel. That's right. We're going to do this. Man, send the us around the The ones that say, I won't move, you move. Yeah, how about you move? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we just stand in the boldness of Jesus. We stand for what he called us to do. We stand to occupy this we, world. We occupy till he comes. Mm -hmm. How do people partner? Well, you can text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029 or go to the website. JosephZ.com. <laughs> JosephZ.com. Yeah. We say that every time, don't we? We do. And people say, why do, you, why do you hit that every time? Well, the reason is, one, there's scammers out there. Yes. We try to avoid scammers by saying it right from the broadcast. It's crazy. There's, it is. There's been so many people that will, like, it, it's a scam, and they almost use AI to do it. But our audience has been so intelligent. They yes. really have. We have more people calling and saying, hey, I found a scam. Yeah. Just be aware. Let's I've never, go get them. <laughs> rarely have I ever heard anybody say, they got me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Normally what they say is, watch out. So I just, because we say it from here, mm -hmm. our audience is intelligent. You guys have been really smart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been on it. You've been on it. And I'll tell you, um, so then I bring it up every time. And because I believe in what God told us to do, I yes. really I have a conviction about this. If mm -hmm. people knew, I mean, like everything we have, we've given to the ministry, everything. Yep. Yeah. Like we, we don't really own that much. Nope. Yeah. We've kind of given everything to the mm -hmm. ministry. It's almost like we I love believe it. in yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and the bottom line is, is we're living for eternity. We're yeah. going for it. So when you partner here, mm -hmm. we really believe it. We have a conviction about this. We're not like trying to get some kind of like secret life out of this. You know, yeah. we, we really are. We're on a set deal. We're not. Um, yeah. I was going to say the reason why we push so hard with giving is because we believe in this. Yep. And we know what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. And we want to go get them all. We want to get, get as all. many as we can. Just one yeah. more. And just get as many as we can for Jesus. A million that for is a billion. all that matters. Yep. Jesus is all that matters. Come on. Right. And so at the end of the day, when we stand before him and he asks, did you do what I asked you to do? Did you follow me? Did you do what I asked you to do? I want to boldly say yes. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. That's all that that's matters. Right. It's a million for a billion. Mm -hmm. And you got to know the word of God for you. Mm. you do. No one else can do it for you. You're well, not going to stand before God right. with your grandma, with your mom, with your dad, whoever. <laughs> you ain't going to do that. It's going to be you and Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he's going to ask you personally, did you do what I asked you to do? Yes. And so you need to know the word for you. It's no one else's responsibility but yours to know what that Bible says. So that way you know in that textbook of life, what you're supposed to do. <laughs> yes. That's right. So, it's yeah. good, Allie. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. Jesus is Lord. He is. Yes, he it's is. our great honor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Well, Jesus. Pray, for, pray for everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, we just come together right now. In we Jesus' do. name. There is power in agreement. There Thank is. You, we come into an agreement for even what we've talked about today, your mercy, God. Yes, right. Lord. Mercy, Lord. Thank you. We mercy, thank you Jesus. for your mercy. We thank you for your covenant. We yes. thank you for your blood covenant that was shed abroad so freely a gift you gave thank you, Jesus. for us. And so, again, mm -hmm. we place a draw and a demand on our covenant. His name is Jesus. Yes, Lord. We place a draw and a demand of anything that you have need of right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. He is there. He mm -hmm. is, it is provided on your behalf. Yes. But, Lord, we come into an agreement for mercy. We do. We come into an agreement for the mercy and the rescue of the Lord. The rescue. That it would be, it would be big Jesus. enough in our hearts that men would begin to unite Thank that you, we Jesus. would begin to unite of this of this vision called a commission That's of right. us coming together in unity and working together with Jesus and working together of winning this world yes. for the Lord. Thank you, and Jesus. I just say right now that you would begin to dream 
dream. Yes. Begin to see. Thank begin to Jesus. hear. Yes. Begin to hear the voice of God. Yes. And get above yourself. Thank get yes. out of this natural world. Come on. Get up and rise above it. In Jesus' Go name. Go up higher above it. Yes. Where you begin to see what the Lord has for mm-hmm. you. Where you can pray and say, Lord, where can I be the answer? Where can yeah. I be in <clears throat> Jesus' name. Where can I be the answer that yep. you, you've asked to be the uniter that mm-hmm. we, that I could unite yes, and be yes. able to reach others? Yes, no Lord. more fighting, That's no right. more squabbling, yeah. no more strife. That's right. If we you, rebuke strife in yeah, Jesus' name. If you have name. nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Practice yep. that discipline. Come yes. on. I, so I encourage you in that. To be a uniter and unite mm-hmm. over Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Unite over the blood. Unite over just being grateful and blessings. Yes. I thank you, Lord, right now. Thank you, Jesus. That the vision that you have for their lives, mm-hmm. the vision he has for your life. Yes. The mark and the call that he marked you for, mm-hmm. that perfect that he made you perfectly thank designed Jesus. for. Thank yes. You, that you would begin to see thank and Jesus. hear and yes. put your trust in God yes. and act right thank now Jesus. in the place he's called you. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Come up higher. Come, Come up on. higher. Believe. Yes. Believe and take his word. Jesus Don't Lord. become complacent. Yes, right. Right. Come alive. Come alive. Come mm-hmm. up higher. Pray. He's Read the word. Matters. Speak in tongues. Just do the word. Pray. You, Spend time in the word. Yes. Thank you. And watch your heart come alive. Yes. Watch your, your whole being be encouraged mm-hmm. so you can be a blessing to be a blessing to others. In Jesus, yes, name. In Jesus name. Thank you, yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, God. God. We come into an agreement for mercy. Yes, we do. We have gra- his grace, mm-hmm. but I just say, thank you, Lord, for mercy. In Jesus. Not only over this nation, mm-hmm. but the nations around the world for all of God's children, Thank you, Lord. for all of God's people. Of God's he people. loves every single one of us. Yes, Lord. He loves you. If you're Thank breathing God. and you have breath in your lungs, mm-hmm. he loves you. Mm-hmm. He knows he's fully acquainted with what you have going on. Thank you, Lord. And we release peace to you right now. The peace of Jesus, not as the world gives, mm-hmm. not as a, a pacifier of passing time, mm-hmm. whether on social media to get those endorphins or to get those dopamines, mm-hmm. but the peace of Jesus. That's right. Nothing broken and nothing lacking. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. For God so loved you. Mm-hmm. Yes. He gave his son. Well, let me look right at you. I want to just say this. For those of you who are here, we love you. We really care about you. And, you know, whatever the world's thrown at you or whatever has happened, I hope you know, even if you've been impacted by some of the things that we're kind of talking about and maybe even being a little humorous about, we're never being humorous at your expense. Yep. Whoever yes, you are. That's right. Wherever you are. Yep. I want you to know we care about you. Mm-hmm. If you are in gross sin right now, we love you. Mm-hmm. Jesus loves you. You might as well come to him. Turn. Come to him. Mm-hmm. we're not offering you something terrible. We're offering you eternal life. Mm-hmm. And if you've been impacted or somebody you know has been involved in the things we're talking about today, I just want you to know we really do care about you and we care about them. Yeah. And Jesus is reaching out to them right now. And so That's we're right. just here for you. I hope you reach out to our ministry. We're here. We have prayer ministers. We have people that want to stand with you. And you can just contact us. You know, Go to josephz.com. And I really do hope you'll partner. I, I do. If you're a partner here and you've been with us sometime or you're brand new, thank you. We really love you. We care about you. Mm-hmm. And you will hear from us. Our team will call you regularly if you partner here. And please, if you partner and you're going to partner, would you comment partnering today? We want to welcome you. josephz.com or text the keyword give to 719-259-0029. Also download the Joseph Z app. Download that because we, we've built that thing in-house. It's in-house, and people will really get a now word from it. You know, we have the text to join, which is 719-719-3637. You text the keyword join, and you can be a part of an announcement group, 30,000 and growing people that are a part of this group. But here's the thing. 
with text to join, that number you're seeing right there may change, but if you've text this number, you will still be in the group, even if we change the number on the screen, because we're looking for even a better, more efficient service to use to text everybody. Mm -hmm. So if the number changes, which it might in the future, it's okay. You will still be a part of the group if you text this number today, and it'll be a great help uh, to you and to us, and we can reach out to you. And the reason we do it is if stuff gets wild, stuff changes, and suddenly you don't see us in some of the places you used to see us, we can still reach out to you and tell you where we are, and the Joseph Z app is number one, the mm -hmm. josephz.com website. Go there. We also have the videos going live there at the same time as the app. And I think that's really important that you know about those things. But in the meantime, please do like and follow us on YouTube. Like and follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Just please like us on Instagram. Follow us there. Subscribe to YouTube. Like us on Facebook. I got to tell you, we've got so many platforms. Rumble. Don't miss Rumble, man. We are exploding on Rumble, kind of brand new to it, and we're growing suddenly. We're happy about that. And X, we're on there. Mm -hmm. We're on many other platforms. You can get all that by going to josephz.com. You'll see the list of it. Uh, sometimes we sent out, uh, we send out a place on Instagram. I think you can click the link tree link, and you'll see all the places we're located, mm -hmm. and you can follow us there. But josephz.com is the best place to go. I hope you partner today. We want to call you. We will call you regularly mm -hmm. yep. if you partner. <laughs> we love you. Yes. And uh, it's so important. So we're going to continue with this. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Normally we get into a lot more questions and answers and stuff, but yeah. today was kind of important. We sort of went down a prophetic narrative, confronting things in the culture. Jesus is Lord. I know there's wild stuff going on, but we're going to be with you. This is our promise to you. We have a commitment to you. We'll be with you every day. We're going to be here through it all. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we are live and in real time. Sometimes we travel and we do the best we can. We air maybe an interview or something like that. But I just got to tell you, most of the time we're here, we're live with you in real time. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue to do it. It's our commitment. Be praying for us. Some TV networks are picking up our live broadcast and they're going to air us live on their regular network programming. So they'll be airing their normal programs, and at the time slot we're live, they'll drop us right into their normal programming. We got some amazing things happening, but it's because of you partners. Mm -hmm. We truly are going after a million clear-eyed, clear-minded reformers to win a billion to make God rich, to make God rich, to give him what he doesn't have, that's his lost children, and give them to him as our, as our reasonable service and as love to him. If no one's told you today, we love you. Jesus is Lord, and we're going to see you very, very soon. If you would right now, please watch this. I want to say a very special thank you to our partners. Whether you've been a partner with us from the very beginning, or if you've recently become part of our partner family, we simply want to say thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you because it means so much that you're standing with us. We're accomplishing a lot together. And I'll tell you, if you're interested in becoming part of our partner family, I'd encourage you to go to josephz.com or text the keyword give to 719-259-0029. You know, we want to welcome you to the family and we will be calling you. If you become a partner, we call you regularly and we love talking to you. Our team calls you. It's not a call center. It's our team. We love our partners. I hope you'll consider it. I hope you're praying about it. And I hope you become a part of our partner family today. We are living in a last days culture and you've got to understand something. Both God and the kingdom of darkness are territorial and you are the hinge pin. You are absolutely the emissary, the free moral agent of permission to give access to light or darkness. I'm Joseph Z, and I recently had the Spirit of the Lord speak to me to write this book, Servants of Fire. It is a last days prayer, intercession, and prophecy manual for how to rise up, activate the forces of heaven to work on your behalf. We go into so many things in this book that I know God spoke to me about from his word that's gonna greatly impact you and take you forward. The world is crazy. Things are getting wild, but you can overcome with the spiritual forces of heaven right from the manual that's written in this book. We go into everything from dealing with strange encounters, wicked spirits, how to push back authorities that are of dominion of evil and take territory in Jesus. I gotta tell you, this book is a must have for your library, a must have. It will navigate you right through these difficult days and you will see victory, you will see results. Did you know most Christians, most believers, have everything they need. All they need is a revelation 
of what they have. And this book will provide that for you. You need it. I'm telling you, it's a now word, a revelation. I'm Joseph Z. I hope you pick up Servants of Fire for your future and your benefit today.